Unit 7 of Grade 1A of the second edition, Succeeding at the Piano. It's on page 35. And you'll notice students are learning the space notes in the treble clef, starting with F, A, C, E. Now we don't want our students to learn anything by mnemonics except for maybe one or two patterns. And this is one of them that I think is okay. If we also teach our students that they're that these notes are thirds apart from each other. F-A-C-E, okay. And I just like it because the little boy there with the word face underneath it, it's catchy and it's easy to remember. So on this particular page, we have little stick men that are on various notes and the students have to write down the names of the notes. And at the bottom of the page, you'll notice this combined reading system where the student has to always write the names of the notes as well as the interval and whether it's going up or down. Very important in succeeding at the piano. So now let's turn to page 36, the brass gong. This is a, a technique exercise with Franz Joseph Haydn or Papa Haydn. And here the practice steps say, say the letter names of the notes as you point to each one. So your students will say F, A, C, A, C, E. Then play and say each letter name. to roll out of each key, wrist first, and we're going to use the drip drop roll motion for that. With the pedal down, it makes it sound like such a marvelous brass gong, and then we're going to still use the same fingering, getting louder. shoulder release. Beautiful. And you know what? I think the student could come off right, with a tissue box touch release. Yes. And then I also asked the student to read the important information on the lower left. The pedal on the right is called the damper pedal. Okay. So now the bugler and time to get up are two partner pieces where the students are just reviewing those new notes in the right hand. this piece by Edwin McLean called Rocket Ship. The words are, if I had a rocket ship, I'd take a friend with me. Moon and big stars, who knows what else we shall see. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> So treble C position, obviously, and up at the top of the page, we talk about how the C, the treble C, is a fourth up from treble guide note G. And then we see fine treble C, play those five notes uh, following C, and say the names of the notes, C, D, E, F, G. And number two on this page is how many patterns look like this? Are they seconds or thirds? So the student has to look, oh yeah, it's measures one, two, three, measures five and six. And then the last number three on this page says, circle this pattern in the music. Are those seconds or thirds? Well, they're definitely thirds because they're space to space to space with line skips. All right, and so we have a look at the music and at measure seven and eight is where the students play that pattern. Now let's take a look at page 39. <laughs>
he's called Hey Little Woodpecker. So again, we want our students to review that nice staccato touch release. And that teacher duet part is really cute with the student part. And then we have a bunch of woodpeckers up at the top of the page and the student has to decide whether there's the, they are the C, the D, the E, the F, or the G. Okay, so that's just a wonderful little piece. The tissue box is now reviewed on the next page, on page 40, with a piece called Starfish. love the tempo marking. Swimming underwater. The student listens for staccato notes with a pedal underneath them. Very interesting timbre, as well as legato in this piece. Rockin' and rollin' is a huge contrast. Have the students tap and count out loud, play all the thirds first, and play the third line three times correctly. <laughs> It's a traditional Flemish folk song. The words are, bring the shovel and I'll bring the seeds. Dig little holes and pull out any weeds. Let's have some rain and then brilliant sunshine. We'll have a garden soon, yours and mine. So in this particular right hand part, the student is coming outside of a five finger pattern, playing an F triad, F A C, with fingers one, two, four. And then they're ready to play the D with the fifth finger. So of course the student must make an oval with their wrist like this. So we can have our students feel our arm as we move around. We can certainly move their wrist and their forearm around so that they feel that lovely oval. the melody. All right, the next piece is all about a hummingbird on page 22. Again, the piece has both hands in the treble clef, so let's have our students sit between treble C and treble G. So now we're ready for unit eight. 
So let's see if there's anything in Unit 7 in the theory book I'd like to address. Well, treble C position on page 23, that great combined reading system where the student has to think about which guide note the muddy cat paw is on. So the muddy cat paw is always on a guide note, so the student has to see which one that is, and then they write in the name of the note that is after that guide note. And at the bottom of the page, they have to write the interval, whether it goes up or down, and also the names of the two notes. So just a terrific reading system. And then the time to compose activity, make up a piece using treble C position, and what animal will it be about? The next page is another composition activity called Be a Composer. There are so many composition activities in succeeding at the piano. This is Papa Haydn, and he's writing a letter to Mozart, and it starts off with Dear Wolfgang. And here's Mozart, and he's writing a letter back to Haydn, and in his head it says, Dear Franz. So Franz Joseph Haydn and Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart wrote music all the time. It's time for you to compose as well. Finish the piece below. So I've asked them to add all kinds of things like staccato, legato, arrest, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, treble steep position. So I'm just going to show you the bare bones. And the students can spend all week thinking about how they can incorporate the rest of the notes for that wonderful activity. And then in the recital book, Unit 8, there's a fabulous piece for the summer called Let's Go to the Pool. When it's hot, the pool is not. So let's go to the pool. You don't have to bring a raft, but they are really cool. I have lotion just for you. Floats and balls and goggles too. when they need to push off for those wonderful crispy staccato notes. Dancing Shoes is a fabulous piece on page 24 by Mary Leaf. Oh my gosh, that's what ends the recital book. And there's a great two-page activity at the end of the recital book that says, oh my goodness, the pieces I have performed. Write the pieces you have performed from this book in this fabulous pathway. So there's a start with a boy and girl in a piano, title and date, title and date, title and date. So there are all kinds of places where the students can write down the pieces that they've performed. And then the finish line and the two kids in the piano are saying, yippee, finish. <laughs>